Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding confirmation rate and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called signups with two different columns, user ID and timestamp. User ID is the primary key for this table. Each row contains information about the signup time for the user with ID, user ID. Okay. We are also given a second table called confirmations with three different columns, user ID, timestamp and action. The combined columns user ID and timestamp is the primary key for this table. The user ID of the confirmations table is a foreign key with a reference to the signup table. Remember signups table also has a user ID column. The action column is an enum of type confirmed or timeout. So basically the action column can take only two values, either confirmed or timeout. Each row of this table indicates that the user with the ID, user ID requested a confirmation message at timestamp and at that confirmation message was either confirmed or expired without confirming timeout. Okay. So basically what is happening so in this table in the signups table the user id is re is signing up right so that is the timestamp the confirmations table is for a particular id at a particular time what was the action table taken right so either it was approved that is confirmed or it was timed out right the confirmation rate of a user is the number of confirmed messages divided by the total number of requested confirmation messages the confirmation rate of a user that did not request any confirmation messages is zero. Round the confirmation rate to two decimal places. We are asked to write a SQL query to find the confirmation rate of each user. The order of the result doesn't matter. Okay, let's go through this example. So this is the signups table and the confirmations table. So if you see in the confirmations table, there is no user ID six, right? So in that case for six, we need to return a confirmation rate of zero, right? So for three, right? So user ID three requested the confirmations twice and both of them were time out. So it would, the percentage would be zero out of two, right? So 0%. Then for seven requested thrice and was confirmed all three times so 100% right or one similarly for two requested twice confirmed once timeout once so 50% or 0.5 right and for six since there was no uh, request so it would be zero so that is what we get okay so let's go ahead and build this query right but before doing that I want to show you something like which will make our process of writing this query so easy right you some of you might know this concept but like for people who don't know so let's say i take this confirmation table right confirmation table and group by the user id right and then what i do is i return the uh, so basically action column is equal to confirmed right so this is going to return a boolean values 0, 1, 0, 1, things like that, right? For the action column. And if I do a sum, right? So sum, okay. So we are returning the user IDs as well. So for different user ID, when we are, uh, you know, grouping by the user ID, we are basically trying to see how many of them were confirmed. Let me run this, right? To see what the output we are getting. Okay, obviously it is a wrong answer. I'm trying to demonstrate something. So, okay. So if you see for user ID three, we are getting zero, right? So zero confirmed for seven, we should be uh, having three and for two, we should be having one. So seven, three, two, one. So you see it is for using this, we are able to get how many times for each of the user ID uh, it was confirmed or not. So now we all know how to count number of rows. So since we are grouping by each uh, user ID. So if we divide by count star, so what is count star? Basically count the number of rows of each group. That is the number of times a person requested, right? So if you see how many times it was confirmed divided by the total number. So this is the fraction that this question is 
talking about right so confirmation rate is the number of confirmed messages divided by total number of requested confirmation messages okay so let me go ahead and run this again right to like just to demonstrate that yes indeed it is giving the confirmation rate right okay so if you see for 3 0 0.00 for 7 1.00 and for 2.5 right exactly what we need to get right so 0 0 1.5 right uh, not not for 6 right because 6 for 6 we don't have that and in some confirmations 6 is not present right so had this question didn't mention that the confirmation rate of a user that did not request any confirmation message is zero then all we had to do was you know we need to round this number to two decimal places and alias it as confirmation rate and our problem would have been done but since we need to return the confirmation rate for all users and for, by all users all people who have signed up right so six for six to be there we need to perform a join first before doing this thing right so let me remove this so now once you get this concept now it will be very easy to do do this okay so from the sign up table right uh, aliased as s let's left join the confirmation table aliased as c on s dot user id is equal to c dot user id now once we join this so basically what will be happening so for this table will uh, will be for three it will be having two rows right so it because it will find two matches for seven three rows for two two rows and for six only one rows where all these three columns would be null right so now what we can do is now again if we group by the user id from the sign up table right then what we can do is we can return the user id from sign up table and since there are two cases so the first case would be that since we are joining it right so for cases like this who didn't request any confirmation right so for them the entire values in these three columns after performing the join would be null so if you find a null value in any of these three columns then you simply return 0 0.00 as their confirmation rate right if it is not null right so then you do that sum of you know action is equal to confirm divided by count star and then we round up and things like that so you understand like what we are trying to do here we are trying to basically separate these thing as two different cases so case when any column let's let's take you know timestamp column so timestamp column from confirmation table so timestamp is null right so it is null means the, the uh, user didn't request any confirmation right so is null then what you do you just simply return 0.00 why we are writing 0.00 because it says round the confirmation to two decimal places right so like if you are returning something let's return the exact thing which uh, you know is in alignment with the what question is asking if it is not the case right so if this uh, timestamp column is not null so else what we do is the first thing that we do is so for the action table so action column is in the confirmations table right so c dot action is equal to confirmed right the same thing that we did we then just calculate the sum of each of the groups confirmation messages right so since we are grouping by so everything is happening for each group right so each group of user id remember because uh, from then join and then the grouping happens and then it comes to the select right so sum is e this one and then we divide by count star to calculate the fraction so for the number of rows in each of the group that is user each user id then what we did was we round this to two decimal places right now once we do this we end the 
case statement so case when then whenever started needs to end so end and what is the alias of this column confirmation rate right so just put here confirmation rate okay so this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah this passes all the test cases it is pretty fast as well and this is how we do it again if you didn't know about this concept then uh, the other way of doing it would be you know just uh, for each of the group uh, you know for each of the group you just perform the group by try to count the number of times the action was time out the number of times it was confirmed you add them and then you calculate then so basically you need to have basically three three new columns number of times time out number of times confirmed and the total so you sum the those two columns in the total and then for number of confirmed divided by the total is the is the confirmation rate and then based on that you you need to perform a join of these two tables and you know try to find out that okay wherever it was null give it zero otherwise you just give the whatever the confirmation rate we are getting by dividing those two columns right so let me know if you want to do that way uh, and what the solution will look like uh, answer in the comment section and yeah so this is how we do it uh, let me know if there is a more efficient way or a better way of doing it and until then i will see you guys in the next video